I'm smiling because the sun is shining. We've gone from coast to coast in the first uh, two mini series of uh, Scotland's Less Obvious. And uh, this time we've come inland. We start things off in Perthshire. I'm at Octorada Golf Club, and I hope I've said that right. We've got some great views, and I'm about to take on hole five, stroke index one. There's a good time to join us. Happy with the drive of stroke one over the brow. I thought it was middle of the fairway, but it uh, cambers off down to this left hand side. But probably a decent angle to come in from. It's gone down the left a bit and moving to the left. Sit down. Sit down. Right, I think you get a bit of a gentle warm up holes one to five and six the par five we've just played or fantastic hole all of a sudden gets really built up it seems to be a, a change in the way uh, the layout is going to be from here on in uh, looking down seven now again and the holes that I can see all built in this tree uh, this tree lined fairways it looks a lot tighter it was incredibly picturesque You will have heard of Octorada before because uh, it's where Glen Eagles is and you can actually see it from the fifth, I think it was, fairway. Um, so yeah, a proper parkland track here. Changes significantly, like I said, after a whole sort of uh, from five onwards into very much tree-lined, gets a lot tighter. And again, we've just spent series one and two uh, very much predominantly uh, links based on the coastline come inland and uh, just shows that uh, Scotland's got a fair bit to offer in terms of uh, its choice and type of uh, golf course that you can play over here. Well, I noticed this bunker back down in the fairway when we just had that chat and I've actually, uh, I've hit a decent ball into the flag, but I want to try and have a pop out this bunker. There's a few steps down, so it looks fantastic with it kind of uh, a, a wall of sleepers. That's nice, isn't it? I just hope uh, I don't regret these words and 
uh, run one straight up the ramp and into those houses at the back. A great looking bunker. Well, I nearly did. Just about got it up that face, but a great feature on what I think is, I'm afraid, because I've lost track of where I am, but I think it's a 12th. Well, just for reference, that bunker I was just speaking about, that was a 10th. I got a little bit carried away. We're on 11 now, and uh, what a great par four. Left to right dog leg. Love that kind of shape of a hole. I'm going to try it in a uh, bit of a cut with a three iron. I don't mind this shot. Suits my eye, he says. Oh, do you know what? That should be position A. It's funny, isn't it, how confidence in golf and, like I said, you see a hole that kind of suits your eye and uh, straight away, I don't know, you swing better, you swing free, you swing easier and, uh, yeah, that's golf. Right, made our way to 14 in what is only about uh, two and a half hours. They play uh, quick in Scotland. I think all the golfers are just too good. Uh, but we're whizzing along and uh, it's just about holding on in terms of a bit of brightness and sunshine. We're staying, by the way, in a place called the Creef Hydro Hotel, which, uh, as you can see, it's a great place, you know, it's a great setup. I think it's very much set up for the sort of the outward bounds kind of lifestyle. There's a lot of activities and things going on, a lot of families in there. It's a big hotel, very nice, in what is um, a little village, a little town, I suppose you call it, Creef. And again, we only had a quick drive through that at this stage, but it looks very nice indeed. It's a nice area, this one I've not been up to before, but uh, the drive sort of uh, up and in and around this place, it, uh, it looks really pretty, as is the golf course. Right, hole 15, par five. I'm, not, I'm sort of at the mini. It's in some good, some bad. See if we can string it together for a hole. That's not the shot I want, and try that one. Just leaked a little bit. Not a bad strike, though. Sit down. Well, it's bounding on a bit, but it should be okay. We'll see. I don't know what lies over the brow. Right, I've just walked to the brow, and uh, I can't see a great deal, so we're just going to go... We're going three iron, we're going six iron. I'm going to go down the left and uh, hopefully that camber sort of seems to kick down from left to right. There you go. It's doing it, I'm telling you. What's going on? Ball that listens. Well, I suppose a bit more luck than judgment, but it was uh, bang on really because there's a dip. There's no danger inside the dip. Um, but I'd rather be playing it from up on this uh, level Looking up at the hole. I just pulled it a bit. Sit ball. Sit. Oh, I did sit as well. Good bit of yardage control, but just pulled it just that little down the left. But it's a putt for birdie. Well, time to sit back, relax and enjoy the view. I just love Scotland. It's, uh, it is... This I would describe as pretty, picturesque or those type of words. And when I say this, this area, like I said in the early kit, driving up everywhere you look, it's, uh, there's, there's mountains in the backdrop, um, trees everywhere you look, very green and very, very pretty. Um, and like I said, a real change up from what we've played so far in the first two series. It's a great parkland course, this. It really is some uh, interesting holes, some change ups, some... Um, by no means straightforward and easy. It's not the longest of courses, but it's certainly tight enough. And uh, my advice would be, and uh, against what I've done, is uh, don't pick driver up off every tee because uh, unless you're really on your game, then uh, it's a lot of the par fours in particular, you don't need to play driver. That's very much got a Glen Eagles feel about it, you know. And this hole again, same sort of, uh, that sort of elevated green an elevated tee position. Some lovely colours as well.
I think I mentioned earlier, I haven't had uh, much chance in the way of birdie. Uh, I don't think that's mine, I see. But uh, I've got one on the last. There's a few par threes on here. It feels that I've played quite a few. Um, do you know what? It's not the easiest to put. There's a bit of a fall off to the left. Can we save the best to last and finish on a birdie? Now, even in that, even adopting that squat position doesn't help the ball go in the hole. So, a part to finish, nearly missed that. I'm going to get a pint. <laughs> 